The last couple of days has been absolutely mental. The Mad Scientist has dropped a 98.99 FM23 database, and I am so, so excited to try this out. And the first thing that came into my mind was to test this Josh Daly Van Hal 95 three-back tactic out. The tactic is absolutely wild. There is liberos, there is cariellos, there is shadow strikers, there is the whole shebang. So make sure to stick around for an absolutely wild, amazing three-back tactic. What is going on there guys, Ken Pete here and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another tactic tester and this time it's won by the legend Josh Daly. Thank you Josh for allowing me to use this tactic. This tactic is mental, it blows my mind every single time I look at it. It is a 3-1-2-3-1, sort of. Let's get into the tactic and I'll show you this absolute crazy thing well there it is and it, it looks very very odd when you load it up um it's fantastic when you actually use it and you score so so many goals there's a libero there's some ball there's so there it is and it looks very very odd when you load it up there's a libero there's shadow strikes on attack there's inverted wingers there's wingers there's cariellos there's box to boxes there's halfbacks <laughs> It's mind-blowing when you look at it like this, but we will go through each individual position. One thing that I really, really like about this video personally is what we have done. We have got the old 9899 database from the Mad Scientist. I'll make sure to put a link in the description so you can download this, download this for yourself. Uh, first of all, Benny McCarthy, the striker for Ajax, obviously helping out Marcus Rashford in real life. We're doing it with Ajax because obviously it was done during the time of Van Gaal at Ajax. We're doing it with Barcelona also. We've got Patrick Cliver up top, Rivaldo, Luis Figo, Ronald De Boer, Josep Guardiola, so Pep Guardiola, um, Frank De Boer's in the team, Philip Koku, and who else have you got in here? Um, a young Xavi who, who can't move at all, but he is fantastic and he looks awesome. And Manchester United as well. Obviously, this is the season that United did the treble. It doesn't suit United very much. Gary Neville was a libero. Yep, you heard that right. Um, Nicky Button DM. We've got Gar uh, da Gareth Beckham. David Beckham in the carry yellow role. Roy Keane, Dwight York, Paul Scholes, Ryan Giggs, Andy Cole. Obviously, these changes will make place. And, you know, Beckham will move out to here. And uh, it'll, it'll all go a bit wild. But the formation itself is just mind-blowing. I think it's only right I show you this in the IX style of play. So you start with a sweeper keeper on support in goal. Uh, no further instructions. A ball playing defender on the right on defend will stay wider. A ball playing defender on the left will stay wider. And the libero on support in the middle will dribble more. That is scary. You've got three centre-backs. That's it. <laughs> it's going to dribble more. A half-back on defend will take more risks. Nothing in the left mid or right mid spot. Left wing back, left backs. None of that. This is attacking. This is fun. This is free flowing football. This is the Ajax style of play. So box to box midfielder on support on the left. We'll pass it shorter and move into the channels. A carry yellow on support on the right with uh, take more risks. You've got a winger on attack on the right with uh, pass it shorter. An inverted winger on the left with pass it shorter on attack. A shadow striker on attack in cam with roam from position. And an advanced forward on attack and this position in each three sims that I've done scores a ridiculous amount of goals and um, it's a positive mentality to play at defense is playing wide take short kicks uh, counter press and hold your shape distribute to the center back there's only going to be really three of them available uh, high defensive line with a three back with no wing backs and high press prevent the short goalkeeper distribution and a trigger in a press of slightly more often the tactic looks wild the results are even wilder you really do have to build a team for this tactic i'm going to say that now but some of the results we do get are absolutely mental and you're going to have so 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 much fun with this tactic let me show you how many goals we scored and just the results of this tactic here we are then the end of the sim and if you're eager-eyed you can see patrick cliver scored 76 goals in the premier division yeah, <laughs> this tactic scores a lot of goals. Um, you can see we didn't do very well in the Champions League. Uh, we got knocked out in the round of 16 by Juventus, who, let's just have a little look, managed by Ancelotti. They've got Henri, Del Piero, Inzaghi, Edgar Davids, and the things of Dan, Didier Deschamps. Well, I want to do something with Juventus on this um, mad, mad scientist because it looks so fun. Uh, Spanish Cup knocked down the semis by Valencia and the winners of the Spanish Super Cup. Um, yeah, Patrick Cliver have a season 48 games 93 goals what on earth is that for a season 
it's unexplainable, quite literally unexplainable. In terms of assists, Pep Guardiola gets 37 in one year. Um, Rivaldo and Cam, 23 goals, 17 assists. Sonny Anderson, um, a backup striker, five starts, 15 goals. What the hell? Um, Giovanni, 25 uh, starts, 26 of the bench, 13 goals, 7 assists. And then Figo, 8 goals, 21 assists. Luis Enrique, 6 goals, 21 assists. Pep with 3 goals, 37 assists. Uh, Ronald De Bruyne with 1 goal, 12 assists. And the tactic itself is just beautiful. Now, I will say straight away, we, we didn't do very well with Manchester United. And with Ajax, we didn't do maybe as well as we may have hoped. But you really have to build for this formation. None of the teams we had really had a libero. Um, I mean, I suppose Barcelona suited the best and they did the best. Winning the league, winning the cup, coming round of 16 against Juventus. And I'm sure Juventus must have got on to win the Champions League because that team is just outrageous. They lost it. Oh my God, it was the Inter versus Roma final. What on earth? How was the Inter team? Oh, they've got R9, haven't they? Oh, we're going to have to do something for R9 and Baggio and Perlo. Oh, this is just beautiful. But the tactic, the tactic. We'll get away late otherwise. United, yeah, not very well. We come 10th. We qualify for the Cup Winners' Cup. But Andy Cole, have a day. 40 games, 50 goals. As a striker, this absolutely bangs. Winning the Coca-Cola Cup. What a, what a name for a cup that is. 11 goals for Andy Cole in that. The FA Cup knocked down the quarterfinals uh, by Chelsea. Um, and then the Char Charity Shield, the winners of that one. Champions League knocked down the round of 16 by Porto, sadly. Uh, and obviously going 10th in the league is not good enough. But you just score so many goals. And as I said, Gary Neville as libero does not work. But... If you find the right players for it, this tactic absolutely bangs. I mean, Andy Cole, 40 games, 50 goals. Dwight York, 25 goals in 43 games. If we just look at the data hub itself, we're scoring more goals. We're creating more chances. We're conceding less goals. And I'm sure it is the exact same with Ajax. It is. We're scoring lots of goals. We're making lots of chances. We're conceding less goals. And Ajax becomes second in the league, sadly, to PSV. Um, I think this PSV, PSV team's decent. I mean, they've got... My favourite striker of all time. Ruud van Nistelrooy up front at 22 years of age. What I would do to have him back. Champions League knocked down the round of 16 by Arsenal. Won the Friendly Cup, the most important one. The Johan Cruyff Schaal, they won that as well. And the Dutch Cup got knocked down in the quarterfinals. But Benny McCarthy, the man who was teaching Rashford how to head a ball, scored 62 goals this season. What on earth? In how many games was it? 33. Ridiculous. Lippmann, 36 goals, 14 assists. Um, Schota, Al... Rabezade? I'm going to feel really bad because he's obviously a Georgian prince and I do not know who he is, but he's fantastic. 32 goals, 26 assists in 43 games. That's mental. Um, Jesper Gronkier, uh, 16 goals, 14 assists. Uh, Kinazale, I'm going to guess another Georgian. Yeah, you, they, you can tell the name, like Kavaradonna. Uh, we're going to call them all Kavaradonna. Um, Danny doing very well. Um, Tigina Bangadina doing very, very well. It's just the tactic in general. It is so fun. And you can tell again when you look at this team, it is not built for this formation. So we're going to be doing a real build on Thursday with the formation and showing you guys that when you get the right players in this formation, it is mind-bogglingly good. We're going to score a stupid amount of goals. I'm going to make sure we have a ridiculously good striker and I want to try and break 100 goals. We're not going to have Mbappe. We're going to have our own version of Mbappe. I'm not sure who we're doing it with yet, but that is all going to come very, very shortly. Thank you guys for watching. Please try out this tactic and go and show some love as well to Josh Daly. He's obviously tested the tactic himself. It is his self-created tactic. So, well, it's Louis van Gaal's tactic, but Josh Daly has remade it for FM23. So go over there, show him some love and say that Ken B sent you. Thank you guys for watching and I'll speak to you all next time.